Well, we are expecting some storms in our area and a big temperature drop. Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon back now tracking what's ahead for the weekend. Hey, Albert. Hey there, Joe. Yes, we are going to see an uptick in thunderstorm activity here in Chicago between now and midnight. We have a front that's now to the south of us, cooler air rushing on in, but behind the front, enough instability in the atmosphere to get these showers and thunderstorms to get going really in just the last hour. These thunderstorms are racing off towards the east at around 50 miles per hour. We have heavy downpours right now in Waukegan, just south of Waukegan, some small hail would be possible with this thunderstorm. This is extending back off towards the south, beginning to pull away from Schaumburg, but in about five minutes, it's headed towards Mount Prospect and Wheeling, and by the bottom of the hour, be making its way closer to the North Shore, place like Winnetka getting that downpour with thunder and lightning soon. We got an isolated thunderstorm right now in Kane County. Additional activity coming in out of the west into Cobb County. Again, all of this activity racing off to the east at around 40 to 50 miles per hour. And although it's quiet right now in Chicago, notice this new activity in DuPage County and all of this activity is headed our direction. So Joliet and Kankakee, Northwest Indiana kind of being left out at the moment, but the radar will fill in as the evening and overnight time goes on. Temperatures right now, huge range with 59 in Gary to 73 in Kankakee. We're looking at mid to upper 60s across Cook County as that cool air mass continues to rush on in and temperatures continue to slide into the upper 50s and low 60s as the overnight goes on. So again, between now and midnight, watch the radar fill in showers, thunderstorms. For the most part, most of these are garden variety, but a few isolated intense thunderstorms will be possible. Spitting out some small hail, maybe some uh, dime size, maybe even nickel size hail and some wind gusts potentially as high as 50 miles per hour. But we're not expecting uh, multi severe thunderstorms to get going tonight. Just the ingredients are not there in the atmosphere. The showers continue overnight and look at this tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Scattered showers, a rumble of thunder at noon and through 3 o'clock and we'll even have some showers around, most of which on the light side for tomorrow evening. It won't be until late tomorrow night into Sunday morning that we finally shake the rain. We'll at least see some sunshine, but we're still cool on Sunday with highs in the 60s. So showers likely for tomorrow, the high 62, dry, partly cloudy 63 on Sunday, 64 degrees on Monday with a partly cloudy sky. Average high this time of the year about 72, so well below average. Because of the rain, the pollen tomorrow in the low count, but increasing late in the weekend, and especially as we head into Monday. As we mentioned, Monday still below average temperature wise. That continues into Tuesday with a chance of shower. Showers likely Wednesday and still cool. And we don't see temperatures climbing again until about a week from today, next weekend. That's when we get back into the 70s and 80s for highs, Joe.